I feel like this lifestyle of mine gives me an amazing opportunity to live different lives within one life. This time I was an elementary teacher in rural Guatemala. I found this position on the platform called World Packers. There's a link down below if you're interested. So this is how it worked. They gave me a little cabin. This is my little cabin. This is from the inside with a private bathroom. They cooked for me. In return, I shared my knowledge of English. Pizza, pizza. I shared my knowledge of yoga. Today I'm teaching a yoga class to the kids. I'm very excited. Yoga mats. They liked yoga so much that I was kind of shocked. Almost half of the group totally understood the idea of yoga, took it slow, breathed deeply, stayed concentrated, and actually wanted to meditate more. This one guy even cried during the Shavasana, final resting pose, saying he felt overwhelmed by thinking about his dead grandpa. You have absolutely no idea how important it is for a kid to have a space to feel his feelings and express them openly in a safe place. I am so proud of him. Wow, that was loud. Louder than all my other yoga classes and there was a lot of look at me, look at me, look at me, teacher, look at me involved. <laughs> and I taught them few games they could play. They did so much more though. They gave me a bike. The closest supermarket from us is not that close. So they gave me the bike to commute around. We're gonna go get some platanos. There's not a single person in this town who looks at me and then just looks away. Everybody has to keep watching and staring at me. A speed bump. I don't know if it's a good thing or if it's a bad thing, but it definitely makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. But it's also a sign that they just don't have any tourists here. I'm literally the only foreigner in this entire town. They took me to the river. <laughs> This is literally my favorite thing to do in the entire universe, which is coming to the river, swimming, jumping from the cliff, and just enjoy this wild, untouched nature. And these kids here, you see them? This is me, 100%. This was my childhood. I would spend four or three months in my countryside jumping in the rivers. It connects me to my nature, I guess. It's wonderful to be here. Everybody's watching me right now because I'm talking to my phone. They invited me to their homes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cashew plant. <laughs> this in English is called cotton candy fruit. So sweet. They took care of me. I burnt my leg on the motorcycle and it got infected because it's very hot and humid here. And one of the parents who's a surgeon visited me in the school to have a look at it. I mean, he's a freaking surgeon. He has million things to do. I attended a couple of their birthday parties. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
They gave me a lot of free time to do whatever I wanted to do. After 5 p.m., there's nobody here, and I usually prepare my dinner at 5.36 when it's a little bit cooler outside. A workout time. I also attended a political party's party. Today is a teacher's day and I'm invited to a little fiesta as a guest of honor because I have the most experience here entire three weeks. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the fanciest outfit I can find, but I don't have an iron, so this is how it goes. Water. A lot. Whatever. Que bonito tu cabello. <laughs> this guy is promising desks and chairs and tables to the kids. The teachers took me in like I was one of them. So it's 4, 4, 5 a.m. and I'm gonna meet one of the teachers because we're gonna go to the pool to swim together. They are so crazy, man. Like they work so hard and so much and they wake up at 4 a.m. to go swim and be in shape. So, cheers to that. Buenos dias. Oh, buenas noches, Buenas So warm. Perfecto. It's only six AM and I'm full of energy and love for this life. <sighs> they took me to watch sunsets from the hills. Dime a donde vamos. Casi. No sabes. Adios. They brought me gifts. She brought me a goodbye present on Saturday. She's not supposed to be here. Can I open it? Puedo abrirlo? Sí. Puedes grabar video, porfa. Bueno. Ajá. Mira. Ay, no puedo abrirlo. 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 Oh, so cute. Very beautiful. And they made me cry. <sighs> Today was my last day. I have so much to say about these kiddos. I fell in love with them so much with my whole heart and I'm convinced they fell in love with me too. Aww, my love. Sabes que es love? Mm. 
They are amazing and loving them was the easiest thing in the world, but like this title suggests, being a teacher is one of the most difficult jobs ever. The amount of patience one needs to teach a bunch of six-year-olds is just unimaginable for someone who has never done it. I had to continue the story that the kids we are working on for a few weeks. And this is my little story. For me, the biggest challenge as a teacher was not knowing how they are in the families. They come here to school, you teach them something, but you never know what's happening in their homes, in the closed doors. As a teacher, you might see exactly what a kid needs, but you cannot give them that simply because you are not their family. But you can still do so much more. You can teach and share and hug and love and receive all the love back. You can pass down your knowledge, share bits of your personality really, and in some way live forever in their hearts. The kids gifted me something. <laughs> Being a good teacher, being a really, really good teacher requires a very high IQ, emotional intelligence, and tremendous amount of patience. And also you have to know the subject you're teaching. So how come we are not giving all of them some medals of honor or something? What I absolutely love about this place is that sometimes they don't have very fancy toys or things to play with, but we are playing this game and we are using beans and some stones instead of these like plastic cups. So I'm struggling convinced that when kids don't have fancy things, they improvise <laughs> and use their creativity a lot. I know I will never forget these kids and I know for sure that at least some of them will never forget me. I do not know how I will be remembered in their silly little brilliant minds, maybe as a stranger who does not like Coca-Cola for some reason, or maybe as a girl who had a very strange Spanish accent, and maybe as somebody who made them fall in love with yoga. I don't know. Better broke her leg and she needs a glass of water, so we're going to the kitchen. Say, do I not tanto. Not tanto. I hated weekends because I would have to wait for two days to see them again. So what I know for sure is that I will deeply miss them when I'm gone. Do not forget to check the link down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you soon.